Hey everyone and welcome to another Angular tutorial video. In this one I am going to show you how to create a custom element also called web component with Angular and using Angular elements. So web components is a web standard on how to implement custom HTML elements and use them in the standard HTML file like you see in this one. I have a HTML file with a header and a body and in the body I am using a custom element called calculator widget. So this element is initialized and created by one of the JavaScript files within the header. These JavaScript and style files are the result of an Angular build. So this element is an Angular component exposed as a custom element using Angular elements. Taking a look at the Angular elements documentation, it is explained to us that the web browser is holding some kind of custom element registry. Some JavaScript code must register the custom element in the registry and then we are able to use that custom element within the HTML body. Angular Elements provides us a way to create such a custom element using the create custom element function. This custom element can then be registered in the custom elements registry of the browser. And this component can be implemented as an Angular component using all the Angular features without any restrictions. These elements can also have input and output events, which are usable within regular HTML and JavaScript. So with Angular elements we can create framework agnostic custom elements and add them in any other web app with just standard HTML and JavaScript. So in this video I am going to build a calculator widget using Angular and bootstrap it as a custom element and use it within a plain HTML file. So I will start by creating a fresh new Angular project. There are multiple ways on how you would organize such a project, but I will just go ahead and create a new Angular web app. ng new and then the name of the Angular web app. So once the empty Angular project has been created, I open it up in my IDE. And then I will create a new Angular component with the name Calculator Widget, which I want to expose as a custom element. And in the Calculator Widget component class, I will have to implement the component's input and outputs and also the calculator logic. At first I define an input string which I will display as a title. And then I define an output field which will emit the calculator result numbers. And then I define two number fields, which I will bind to input elements and use them to do the calculation. And then I add the functions for the add, subtract, multiply and divide operations. In each of those functions I emit the result of that operation as an output. And then I'm gonna copy paste some styling into the style file of the component. Here I do nothing special, I just set the font and some margins and so on. And before I implement the HTML template, I go into the app module and here I import the forms module. And this one is needed because I want to do input field binding to the component fields. So let me go to the HTML template and in here I prepare the title of the component and this will just display the widget input text. And also I'm gonna add a raw of two input fields. These input fields are numeric 
and each one is binded to one of the number fields. And also I add a row of buttons. There are four buttons and each one will execute a mathematical operation. One button for add, one for subtract, then one for multiply and one for divide. So I have now implemented a basic calculator widget as a regular Angular component. And in the regular Angular way you would go into some other component like the app component right here. And here you would say app calculator widget and include that component uh, like this in your in another angular component also you would provide the component input uh, like this here and also consume the component output this way storing the emitted event in some variable and displaying it here so this is how you would use this component in a regular angular way However, we want to expose this component as a web component, respectively as a custom element, and use it outside of Angular. And now it is the time to add the Angular elements dependency. So let's say ng add Angular elements. So this dependency will enable us to create custom elements out of Angular components. Having that dependency installed, we have to go to the app module. And in here we will have to do some initialization and we will bootstrap our custom web component. And here we see the bootstrap array. This one indicates the Angular runtime that it bootstraps the app component, which is the root component of our Angular app. However, we want to do custom bootstrapping, so make this array empty. And then we implement the interface do bootstrap for custom bootstrapping. In this method, we will create the custom element, but before we do that, we inject the injector via the app module constructor. So I will add the constructor, and uh, in that constructor, I will inject the injector. And this injector is actually needed to create the custom element. So finally, we go to the bootstrap method. And then we call the function create custom element, which is provided by Angular Elements. And uh, the first parameter is the calculator widget component class name. This is the component where we have implemented the calculator widget. And we also provide uh, a configuration object where we set the injector. So the result of that function is actually the constructor of our custom element. So having that constructor, we can register our custom element at the custom element registry. So for that, we say custom elements. And then we call the define function of that. And in here, we provide two parameters. The first parameter is the name of that custom element. This is actually the HTML tag, which we will use to, um, to access that custom element. And we provide the custom element constructor. So with that line, our custom web component is registered in the custom elements uh, registry, and it is ready to use in the HTML body. Since we want to use this custom element outside of Angular, we must build and compile the Angular code to JavaScript. And this can be done by simply executing ng build command. After the successful build, we have a dist folder where our compiled Angular project is. And we are interested in those JavaScript and style files. 
the JavaScript files are the Angular runtime, the polyfills, so it runs on all browsers, and also the main JavaScript file, which bootstraps our custom element. So let us copy those files into a new folder. So now I want to rename those files to get rid of those cryptic file name parts. And also I will create an empty index.html file where I am going to use the custom element. And in the header of that index.html file, I include the style and the JavaScript files. And just by including the JavaScript files, my custom element is being registered in the custom elements registry and I can start using it in the body. So in here, I will use it by saying calculator widget. And also note that this tag name is uh, that one which we have defined in the app module when registering the custom element in the in the registry and then you can just simply open that index.html file in your browser and you see that our custom element is already visible so we have successfully managed to create an angular component expose it as a custom element and then build and ship it as regular JavaScript files and use it outside of Angular. And now we just need to clarify the question how do we deal with input and output of that component. In case of the input, it is quite easy. You just need to know the input name. This is the widget input. And then you provide this as an attribute of that element. And you must translate it to the kebab syntax. And just set whatever you want to provide as an input here. And then when I refresh the page, then I immediately see the effect here. So the input is already working. In case of the output, we need to register an event listener on that element. And for that, let's first define an ID for that element. And let's say it is the widget. And then we need to write a little bit JavaScript code. And in here we say document get element by ID. And we use the ID widget to access our calculator widget. And we register an event listener here. This is the event name. And we must change the event name to the output field name here. So we say it is the widget output event. And in here we get an event and our event contains uh, in the details field the, um, the output event of that component. So when I refresh the page and open the console and then click on the buttons, I see that I get some events here. So let me change this to that and this one to this. And the add operation returns me the correct result. This is subtract, multiply, and divide. 
So if you want to display the result in some other HTML element, you would do something like this. Define some div here, set the ID to widget result. And then in here you can say document get element by ID widget result and set the inner HTML to widget result um, like this. This is the text which we want to display below the calculator. So set this to this and this to that. And now I am able to consume the output of that custom element using an event listener. And that concludes the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.